Hey what's up guys this is Bear Fox and welcome back to another brand new video and in this video I'm gonna be fixing each and everything related to GeForce now. It, this fix can solve each and every problem that you are facing. All you have to do is follow this video till the end and I hope that helps you out. And if still there is anything left you can just comment it down without any hesitation. I'm gonna be responding to each and every questions or maybe I'm gonna be trying. Also guys uh, if you feel that this thing helps please make sure to do hit the subscribe button and help me reach 10,000 subscribers. Thanks a lot guys, I'll be making a time lapse right in the description below so you guys can go and refer to that. Alright, so at first we're gonna be fixing the soft settings that are the in-app settings that you can change to optimize your GeForce Now performance. So for that what you have to do is type in GeForce Now and open up the application. Alright, so as soon as you are in the application, what you have to do is just go to this gear icon that shows settings, hit on that, and there are a lot of settings that you have to see. Alright, now as you guys can see, we have the game sync that, that is added recently, we have the server location, you have to keep that on auto, and uh, it actually works because it will directly take the input from the nearest server that is available to your location. Then the streaming quality, make sure that you have it on custom and your bitrate should be between 5 to 50 MBP, 15 Mbps no matter what is your internet speed. Next up is the resolution. So for that you have to have the 16 is to 9 aspect ratio and 1280 by 720 resolution. Then we have the frame rate that has been capped to 60 but if it does not work you can cap it down to 30. Next up is the adjust for poor network connection. Uh, this thing is the cause of your blurry screen so just make sure that you have it turned off and the VSync turned off. VSync is sometimes cause of this party connection and you have to you make sure that you have it off. Then the, rich, the Discord rich presence you have to turn that thing off. Then we have the network status you have to turn that thing on just because you want to see when is your internet coming and going. And next up is the direct mouse input. This option might not show you unless and until you do the settings. So let's move on to the hard settings. Now we're going to be talking about the hard settings that you have to do it in the GeForce Now folder. So for that what you have to do is type in GeForce Now and go to the file location. Now I'm just going to be going to the file location and over here first of all go to this view panel and make sure that you have the hidden items checked. If you don't have it just click on it and make that checked. Then we have to, then you can see uh, this file named is GeForce Now Streamer.json. Well, basically, we have to right click on that and hit edit. If you don't see it, just double click on it and go and open it with Notepad. Now, once you are here, there are some settings that you need to change. First of all, what you have to do is come down to GNV GFN Streamer, make sure that it is true. The NVSDL VSync, make sure that it is false. The NVSDL IOHID configurable, make it to true. And HDPI, you have to make it to true. Now we have the window size that you have to keep it. If you go to already by 720, um, you can just, j there's a simple fix. Uh, you can just make your window size 1920, 1080. Alright, that's all you have to change. Just close this window, save it, and you are good to go. Now, once you did the settings, you will see uh, just restart your GeForce Now and you will see a direct mouse input. Basically, you can use your mouse directly in GeForce Now, so that allows you this thing. Now, we're gonna be moving to the uh, black screen error. Now, what is the black screen error? Sometimes you start a game and it does not start. Sometimes you just see this background, the one that we had right now. So there, there are a lot of problems with that. You don't see all your games, you don't see anything, uh, your login does not work and nothing works. Also if I hit play on any game, it will just show me a black screen and nothing else. Alright, first of all we're gonna be fixing the black screen error. Basically what's a black screen error is your GeForce now opens completely black, you can't see anything. So for that, fixing that, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can do this. First of all what you have to do is have any VPN. I'm gonna be using my um, uh, 
you know, I'm going to be using my antivirus VPN. So basically that works for me well. So I'm just going to be showing you guys how you can do that. You can have any VPN that works for you. Uh, it will automatically choose the nearest location for me. And then I'm going to be refreshing GeForce Now and I'm going to be playing any game and that should start. Also your GeForce Now black screen error should be away from this. And if it still doesn't, uh, well basically uh, you guys can just move on and watch this other one. Alright, if your VPN does not work, so basically what you can do is right click at any empty space, go to NVIDIA or AMD control panel, whatever you have, even it might be uh, in, uh, anyone. So as you guys can see right now we have both of my monitors connected to my single graphic card. Basically what you have to do is just go to manage 3D settings right here. And once you are here you have to go to the program settings and over there you have to add a program. So what you can do is just click add. And over here you have to select NVIDIA GeForce Now, basically what you are in and hit add selected program. Now use the following settings that I'm going to be using. Alright, so basically these are all the settings that you need to use. And isotropic filtering, you have to turn that thing off. The FXAA off, gamma correction off, mode off. Then you have the low latency mode, you have to turn it to on. Max frame rate, you have to limit on 60. Multi frame sample, the AA, just make it to on. Then you have the shader cache off. Then you have the anisotropic sample optimized. Uh, whatever it is, you have to turn that thing off. Now we have the ne negative LOD bias, you have to make it allow. Then we have the threaded optimization on. Then we have the vertical sync off. Hit apply, close the thing, and that should fix your stuff. There is one more fix to the black screen error that you can use is just go to the file where you have the NVIDIA GeForce Now and over there you have the NVIDIA GeForce Now streamer that we edited. Just you have to go and hit edit and go and make it down to the 10. You have to select the NVIDIA GFN accelerator and make it down to 10 and that should work. Hit save and close it. Now guys, I hope each and everything has been solved and if you still have any query, don't hesitate to ask in the comment section below. I'll be trying to reply each and every one of you. We'll meet you guys in another video. Till then, stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.